Arduino boards rules, even if you don't use the Arduino IDE. That's the topic of today's video. So first I have to make a confession. I have never used the Arduino IDE or owned a real Arduino board. And with real Arduino board, I mean a board with a USB connector, which I could program directly. But here on my channel, you know, I sometimes use Atmel or Microchip A4 or 8-bit microcontrollers if I need a microcontroller doing a small task like acting as an I2C device or SPI device or for my A4 advanced calendar. And there normally I just use um, or I just buy the Atmel microcontroller in a dual inline package and put it on a breadboard like this at Mega 48PA microcontroller or this a tiny controller here and for programming I normally use a in circuit programmer like this USB ASP programmer. But the disadvantage of this is you need some jumper wires, you have to do the wiring and if you mix something up the connection doesn't work, you can program it and you have to troubleshoot. And even if I use Arduino boards like this Arduino Mini and this Arduino um, Mini Pro which I use for my USB tutorials because this chip has a USB IP built into it, I always used the USB ASP programmer to program them. But this week a friend of mine borrowed me an Arduino Nano. And I have to admit it's amazing. And this even that I don't use the Arduino IDE. And the big advantage of this board is it comes with this um, built-in USB to UART adapter. I think this is a CH340G chip here and I can use it to for serial communication and for uploading programs. And even in my workflow, which is basically I edited my sources in WIM and then compiling it with a make file. So let me demonstrate this to you. So first let me connect the board to my PC via USB. And what I can see now is if I go to slash dev slash tty USB, I have here a new USB to serial adapter. This is the chip on this Arduino Nano board. And now I can use a 4 audio like I would for my USB ASB programmer, but instead of the programmer USB ASP, I use the programmer Arduino. Um, the port is dev TTY USB 0. The board rate is 57,600. And my device, so on this board I have an Atmega 328P microcontroller. So the port is Atmega 328P. And if I fire this and give it my password, I'm able to detect it. And the reason why I'm able to detect it is because on this chip there is a bootloader pre-installed which allows me to update the program over UART. And this is really nice. So let's take this sample program here. So here I have a simple program which basically in its port B pin 5 and toggles the pin every 250 milliseconds. And this port B pin 5 is connected to an onboard LED. So I will build it with a simple make file. If you're interested in this, I have done videos about it. So I build it and now let's flash it with, over, with a 4 Artute again. So here I have to specify the minus U flash. I want to write to the flash and I want to write the file led.hex. Okay, now it wrote everything and this is really quick. It's much more quicker than the USB ASP programmer here. And now you can see the LED is blinking twice a second. So I think this is a really convenient way to upload programs. And if your program has a, or uses the UART interface for ex exchanging data, you don't need an external USB to UART adapter because the adapter is already built into this part here. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee and buy my coffee.com slash Jonas for Linux. So have a nice day and goodbye.